It's time now to take a look inside the women's basketball playbook brought to you by Northside Automotive Group of Summersville. And great to be with you once again here on our women's basketball playbook. Jeff Colhane along with the head coach Mike Carey and a couple of nice wins at home the last few times we've been at the WVU Coliseum. Going back to Wednesday night, the 76-71 win over TCU really seemed like your group locked in from the start and played well start to finish on Wednesday. Yeah, we was able to get a quick start. I think we went up 8-0 on them and uh, kept building on that lead and you know, come out the second half, let them cut it to four. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, after a timeout and that we settled down a little bit, was able to put the game away. Yep, 76 points for your team on Wednesday night, 78 versus Oklahoma in the win over the Sooners uh, a few days back. What do you feel like the, the difference has been in your offensive efficiency over the past two games at home? Well, I think we're getting some more fast break points. I think we're, uh, you know, our defense is great in some. Uh, we're getting up the lanes a little bit better. We're getting to the ball a little bit better. Although I didn't think we rebounded that well the other night, but we got on the offensive boards. I think we had like 28 offensive rebounds. Yep. So that, you know, that this shows you that we had our quickness and was getting to the ball. Yep, Bria Holmes, 30 points in the win over TCU on Wednesday. Bria McDonald has had 19 points the last two games from a perimeter guard spot. And Avery Fields, back-to-back -back games with uh, double doubles, five now on the year. Also getting it done in the classroom, coach, uh, named to the all-district academic team. and a finalist for all academic, uh, academic All-American as well. And uh, I know a young woman you're very proud of to be a part of your program. Yeah, not surprising, Jeff, not surprising. Uh, you know, she's done it her whole four years. They've done a great job, not only on the floor, but off the floor and well-deserving. Uh, you know, she does a lot of community work. She does a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't hear about or see. So, you know, we're, we're very proud of Avery and, and she's going to do well. She'll do, she's going to do well after life at basketball, yeah. without a doubt. And, uh, you know, we're very proud of her. 3.95 GPA, not too shabby from Avery Fields. A big game again, coming up every game, a big game in the league. Saturday night, Hilton Coliseum taking on the Iowa State Cyclones. They shoot it pretty well from the three. What are some of the challenges in the game on Saturday on the road in Ames? Well, before I comment on that, I think they could add your GPA and mine together and not had a 3.95. How about a 2.95? <laughs> yeah. Not happening. I would have been happy with that. <laughs> But yeah, you know, we have a tough game, Iowa State. You know, I've seen them on TV a couple of times and uh, you know, they do what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gonna penetrate, their point guard is very good. Uh, they have shooters and they're gonna play you a soft man in two, three zone and they're gonna try to make you score over top. So, you know, we're gonna have to be able to hit some shots. We're gonna have to get up the lanes and disrupt them and not give them wide open threes. And, contest those threes, but also rebound and uh, get out, try to get out in the open floor a little bit. Yep. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck Saturday night. Thank you. Comments of the head coach, Mike Carey, and this has been another edition of the Women's Basketball Playbook presented by Northside Automotive Group of Somersville.